Hi, Glenn Samuel here from Sniper Photography. Look, when I'm not shooting the landscape, I'm shooting the streetscape or street photography. Now, I've been um, uh, involved in street photography close, for close to 35 years, way back before digital, actually, probably more than 35 years. And street photography uh, comes to us in many forms. One, you've got street architecture, such as buildings and so forth roads, uh, then you've got uh, architectural or furniture, street furniture, Most a lot of people photograph street furniture. But for me, street photography is people, uh, people living in the urban jungle, but not the person you probably think I'm talking about. I'm talking about people that have fallen on hard times, I'm talking about people that are living rough on the streets, that's right, homeless people. Now, I have, as I said, been doing this for many, many years, and photographed thousands of people um, doing it tough on the streets. But I've actually had conversations with probably 90% of them. And that's true, that's, that's a fact. I get to know them. And it's, may, it's amazing what you can learn from people within 10 minutes. And some of their stories are heartbreaking, uh, funny, uh, serious, and sad. But some of the stories that I've been told over the years, I'll, I'll never forget seriously, from uh, merchant bankers, bank managers, small business people, um, females that have been treated appallingly over the years or from childhood, both uh, men and women actually. And with that, I've been, um, every now and again, get accused by uh, a certain element of people, which don't really worry me, but they say that it's a sneaky way of street photography, it's not actually street photography. Well, I beg to differ because I don't use a telephoto lens. I'm not shooting with a massive zoom lens. I'm not hiding around corners, laneways, hiding behind dumpster bins, or hiding in um, uh, shop, shop fronts or in little alleyways, little alcoves, and using a telephoto lens. I'm in their face. I, I, I use a little uh, mirrorless Canon M3 um, with a 15 to 45 kit lens. And I'm in their face, I really am. They can see what I'm doing. And I actually speak to these people. So all the people you're about to see in this video, I've spoken to and had conversations with them. And a bit, probably around about five to 10 minutes. And as I said, it's amazing what these people tell you. And I've gone away from a street um, almost in tears uh, through the stories that they've told me. So I speak to these people. I just don't take their photo and be sneaky about it. I have a conversation with them and I have to say, I've never been told to go away, um, and I'll put that politely. They start to realise after a couple of minutes of me talking to them, asking the questions, that I'm interested in them. And I am. I want to find out what their story is. I mean, we've all gone into the big cities or the urban concrete jungles, and out of our corner of our eye, you'll see these homeless people, and we don't give it a second thought. They're the forgotten people. But how did they get there? What is their story? And the stories they've told me, well, as I said, have been unbelievable, really. Uh, some of the stories just curl your toes, really. And the people you're about to see in this video, um, I have um, spoken to, had conversations with them. And at the end of the conversation, I say, would you mind if I take your photo? Could I take your portrait? Because I think you're interesting. And as soon as I say that to them, they're fine, and I tell them just act normal, just act like a normal day for you. Whether they're laying on the concrete with cardboard around them, or they're, they're fossicking through a garbage bin for some food. Um, I said, just go about your normal business, but I am interested in you. And they say, yes, you can take my photo. And that's incredible, that, that, that is just so good. Um, not once have they asked me for money, and I've never offered them any money. And there's a reason for that, and that is, is that I'm not paying um, them for, for, for me to, or to have the right to take their, their photograph or their street portrait. I actually get to know them in a space of 10 minutes. And as I said, it's a, it's a marvelous thing. It's incredible what you can learn from somebody about their life in 10 minutes by just asking a couple of questions and then sitting back and listening. I sit in the gutter with these people, with my camera, and they allow me to take their image because I'm showing interest in them probably because not many people do. So I want you to sit back, I want you to look at these images, and then I want you to reflect 
on what a precarious position we are all in. Because one wrong move or one bad decision, we could end up like these unfortunate people. Please enjoy the video and any comments or questions, please put them down below. As, uh, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So please enjoy this video. Take care.